On behalf of the Arlington County Department of Human Services, I welcome you to this year's Including People with Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month for 2020. Many individuals with developmental disabilities have underlying health conditions that make them more susceptible to the um, coronavirus pandemic. And we are highlighting a number of those individuals this month. Um, you'll hear some stories from um, these individuals on the impact that the pandemic has had on them across residential services, across employment, um, day support, accessing community resources, including those for health. And I um, invite you um, to just listen to their accounts um, for the impact that the virus has had um, on their lives um, as we celebrate individuals with developmental disabilities for March 2020. Thank you. The pandemic has affected me really badly in a really bad way. Um, it hindered a lot of things from happening. Being limited in terms of going and everything, would you say that's the most challenging um, part of, you know, um, uh, actually trying to um, survive in this pandemic? Like, what's been the most challenging thing for you? Getting around. Honestly, and getting around, I'm on crutches and in a wheelchair, but when I'm in my wheelchair, it's more difficult to get this around because I can't get on, I can't get on the metro, I can't get on any public transit system because of the pandemic. So how has the pandemic affected you? Well, I've been, I've been uh, uh, stay home, trying, trying to, not to, try to not to, try, try to, try to, to, not to uh, go out. Not to go out. Be safe at home. Mm -hmm. So you're staying home to be safe. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything that you want to share about your experience and the changes that you've had to go through during the pandemic that you kind of want others to know about your from your perspective? It's kind of hard seeing friends because you can't go places to see them. Yeah. So are you using technology more to stay yeah. connected? Have you missed seeing people during the pandemic? Yep. Well, the pandemic has affected me. It limits the number of places I can go and the things I can do. There are a lot of restrictions. Like what? Well, I can't go to the gym to work out and I can't go to my uncles and my grandmothers to visit them in person. Have you had any experience, any positive experience, you know, um, during the pandemic? I got back into sewing. Okay. Uh, I made a few lovely masks. I made a U.S. Marine mask for my friend. Oh, Ed. that's nice. Yeah. I also made a few wheelchair blankets. Really? Hey, Kelly, I heard that you were helping walk people's dogs during the pandemic. Yep. So when you've been walking dogs, has it been for the neighbors? Has it been for friends? Neighbors also for friends. Yep. See, what have you been doing to keep yourself busy? Watch TV. What, what are some of the opportunities that you've had to be active in the community during the summer? Like during the summer. Oh, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was doing Black Lives Matter. You were doing Black Lives Matter. What were you doing? I put it, put it, yeah, tell your science with the people, yeah. with, the, with, the, with the other people. 
Mm -hmm. happen, happen to, to the signs. Hearing the signs. Mm -hmm. And what, what is something that's very exciting that happened as a result of you uh, protesting? Uh, what's that? The, mm -hmm. you know, I, I was on TV. You were on TV. <laughs> I was on uh, newspaper. I talk to my friends on FaceTime, um, Zoom, um, emails, texting, and telephone calls. Whereas I call, whereas with my grandmother and my uncle, I, I talk to them on the telephone. I can I can only go on walks to get out. My only um, contacts with the outside world, which has been affected with by the pandemic, is either telephone calls on my cell phone or landline, texting, emailing, safe at home, and FaceTime and Zoom. I heard you've been participating in virtual day support. Tell me about the activities there. Really good. Right, um, that coffee catch up, what else? Uh, morning jam, um, let's go. Dancing, um, music, yoga. What kind of games do you play? Uh, board games or card games. Okay. What are the favorite card games that you like to play? Uno. Right. right. What about the favorite board game? Okay. Monopoly. What are you most grateful for throughout this pandemic? Pay for four. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to go back to St. Coletta's. I'm part of it, and I hope to get to, you know, meet the people from off the meeting and, you know, off the, you know, the Zoom like area and hang out, make, mm -hmm. make friends, not offline, because I, I used to have that, but, you know, that went downhill like a bankruptcy at Toys R Us. <laughs> 